Hi, I'm Phil from the Soundproofing Store, and today we're talking about sound absorption, also known as acoustic treatment. Now, first off, what I want to explain is the difference between sound absorption and sound proofing. This is because it's very easy to get confused between the two. We get calls every day from people trying to buy the wrong thing because they don't understand whether it's sound absorption or sound proofing that they need. So what is sound absorption and what is sound proofing? The simplest way I can think of to explain this is that sound proofing is about stopping sound from getting into or out of a space or a room. Okay, so for example, being in your home and being disturbed by sound from neighbors it's getting into your home or stopping your sound within your home from getting out and disturbing your neighbors. Sound absorption is a little different. This is about making the acoustics within that room sound better and cleaner by reducing the echo and reverberation within that space. Because when sound echoes and bounces around the space, it amplifies and becomes much noisier. So let me give you an example. Now, most of us can probably relate to at some point in our lives being somewhere like a restaurant, for example, where you're sat opposite someone trying to have a conversation and you can hardly understand what they're saying and they can barely hear what you're saying because the noise around you within the restaurant is so loud and so noisy. And the reason for this is that the surfaces of the restaurant and by that I mean the ceiling, the walls, the floor, the windows, they're hard reflective surfaces. And so any sound that's created in the restaurant from people talking, laughing, uh, you know, using their knives and forks and so on, that sound is projecting into the room, bouncing off the walls and the ceiling and the windows and coming back into the room. It's basically echoing and resonating and that amplifies the sound and makes it louder, and messier, and noisier. This can happen in all sorts of situations, not just restaurants, you can get this in offices, in village halls, in museums, sports halls, many, many other situations. Now on the other side, to give you an example of a, of a well acoustically treated space, you've also probably all been to a cinema. And the difference with a cinema is that it's very well acoustically treated. And so when you sit in that room, it's almost like you can feel the, the atmosphere change. There's absolutely no echo and reverberation in that cinema room at all. And so when the music and the sound effects of the film are playing, you can hear every single note perfectly clear. And that's the difference. So how does sound absorption actually work? Well, as I've mentioned, the problem is that sound energy will bounce off hard reflective surfaces back into the room. So the idea with sound absorption panels is that they're filled with a soft absorbing material, such as a fiber insulation in this case, which absorbs the sound and traps the sound inside. So when a sound wave hits the panel, it stays there and it doesn't bounce back into the room. Now here's a, a simple demonstration. Now it's not a scientifically accurate demonstration, but a really good visual representation of, of how it works. Now, let's say that this bouncy ball represents the energy of sound traveling around the room. And this desk represents the hard reflective surfaces of the room. Now when the sound energy hits the reflective surface, clearly it bounces back into the room. Now if we add something to that reflective surface which is soft and absorbing, such as this big soft cushion and the sound energy hits it, it stays there, it doesn't bounce back. If you're looking to reduce echo and noise within a space and are unsure about which sound absorption product is best for you or how many panels you need for your space, as ever, our advice is speak to an expert, pick up the phone, give us a call, whatever the question, we're here to help.